said, Rakate Yahoa, Rakate O'Shea, Rakate Yahoa, Rakate O'Shea, Rakate Yahoa, Rakate O'Shea. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well and break no stone. And a blessed salutation to the Akiyams in the folk of the earth, pushing the gospel and sincerity in truth, shallow one. Right? So, hey, you know, these, these scaffolds, you know, they, you know, they being hurt, you know, they, the doctrine that they were pushing, you know, the, the belief that they were pushing, you know, it being, it being overthrown by the word of Yahweh Bashem you know, it, 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 uh, it caught, it, it, it hurting them, you know, the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth, um, penetrating and destroying, destroying them, you know, so, you know, what left, what left for the do next is, is get super carnal because that's who they is. You know, they are just carnal men. You understand? They are carnal men. So, you know, they can say a lot of things, <laughs> you know, try to offend, offend the men. The men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, but we're not going to be offended. You know, we're not, we're not going to be offended. You understand? But that's what they're going to do. They're going to try to say a thing to offend you, you know, to make you to, uh, to put doubt in your mind, but hey, <laughs> if it were if if it were possible, if it were possible, roughly for a phrase, then they would um deceive deceive the um the the whole free leg. Like, but you know they can come, they can say it, they can say all kind of man an evil thing, you know, you understand? And they can get they can get they can get physical because what the word they are about shame they shy offended these people is the truth, you know, the deed being skin up, you know. The being skin up. And you telling you telling the Israelite the truth. You telling them, yo, Africans is not your people. The most I the scriptures call them dogs. You understand? They are they are they, these are heathens. These people enslave you, say you into slavery, but you want to defend them and you being offended because the most I call them dogs. Right, the most size you call them dogs, but you being offended and you blaspheming the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. You have no fear for your Creator. You understand? That is a proud man. You understand? That is a that that is a proud man. Right? You have no fear for his Creator. So let me just let me just play this voice note. Right? And you can hear our people destroyed. Right, the most I says no sumness in the head. From the soul to the head, there is no sumness. And you can hear all our people destroy. All people destroy. You understand? Right? Right? All people destroy. How I war. You understand? You don't have to fall again on WhatsApp. That is the works of me. So let me just get this um again on okay. WhatsApp. That is the works of me. So me get this. To show, <coughs> to show people bug the hell out. Alright. So let me just get this. Alright, so let me let me start for me. Oh Washa is a Batman, a Saramite. A, a faggot, a lesbian, a, a bisexual. Me say that. Your Bashem, your Shai, Batman, Salamite, lesbian, homosexual. You understand? It's like cutting them, mountain them, batty hole. Me say that. And the only way we can try to ease up on Ethel saying this is when he start publicly declare respect for black people, for the African man. If you don't have respect for African people, well, you know, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, is me I pass. You see me, I say. Me, I go hard on that. You see me, I say. Me, I go hard on that. Real talk. So, you get a full, you get a full dose of, you get a full idea or a clear idea what's coming. Now, if then deport this brother, one name brother Ephil, who's my brother still, you know, if then deport him and then beat out the YouTube channel from that, right? Remember, see, you can fall upon him face, your job flat. 
he got to deal with me again. Now, is he really wanting to go into business? I could see if I get a job for him or link him up with people who could give him a job. Because at the end of the day, that man is still my brother. But that doctrine, that doctrine we my preach, we have to kill that. I'm out. Banda in the water. Pay attention when I talk to you now. I tell you before, I am out to beat the book, the book God and that folly doctrine till it turn power of virgin. I invest in me patience, my time, and my resource in crippling that madness. I warn you, Phil. Don't try to put a phone card. Don't try to put a phone for your, for your channel because, my brother, once you see me number, talk, don't, don't answer the call. Because I know I'm not treat you normal. You understand? I ain't going to treat you normal. You are a Basham, you are a Shia Batman, Sodomite, Sokoki, Lesbian, Homosexual. Bisexual. We don't worship these creatures. You out your mind. We said we say, we say the Almighty to the fullness thereof. We say that. So you know the time with you and your body man God. And if I see a body man God, I kick that in the body hole. You see, yeah man, I piss in your God mouth and shit in your God mouth. Yeah, can I have respect for that? So now Bantan. Yeah, so hey. Our people are destroying. Destroyed, you know. Because I tell you the truth about these Hamites, right? These Hamites is now our people, right? And these most I call these Hamites dog, right? So, hey, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. It's a fearful thing. And you, are you scoffers, you can get your recompense, right? You're going to get your recompense. Right? Are you wanna come and fight against the doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? You are gonna get your recompense. Right? You understand? Let me get, let me get some precept. Alright? Because these Hamites, these these Hamites, these Africans, they go into slavery. They are servants. Right? This is Second Peter chapter two, verse seven. He said, But these are natural brute beasts. Made to be taken and and destroy, speaking evil of things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. And that's an evil beast speaking day. You understand? That's an evil beast. You blaspheme the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And then you want to blaspheme the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you're going to be put to death. They have no fear for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You understand? So Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Shalak Rayom Wa Nashiom La Ha Adam. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Shalak Rayom Wa Nashiom La Ha Adam. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Shalak Rayom Wa Nashiom La Ha Adam. Right? These niggas have no respect. Right? Because I tell you the truth. That these are my sister dogs. You want to disrespect, you want to disrespect your creator. You understand? All right? So these are natural good beasts. All right? Take, made, made, made to be taken and be what? Destroyed. And most I can destroy the beast. All right? It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Because nobody can deliver you. You understand? Nobody, nobody can deliver you. Right? And all and, and all you coons who follow him, you are gonna be destroyed too. Right? You are gonna be destroyed. Right? This is uh this is Deuteronomy chapter thirty two, verse thirty nine. It says, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me, I kill and make alive, I wound and I heal. Need is there any that can deliver out of my hand? So hey, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Nobody, nobody can deliver you, right? And the most I can give you a pain, a, a pain, a, a pain and slow death. This will come to you, right? However, 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 however way it please the most I to take you out, the most I gonna take you out, right? You understand? Right? This is um this is Second Peter chapter three verse um 
verse 3, knowing this for us, that, that they shall, that they shall come in the last days, scoffers walking after their own lusts. Right? Walking after their own lusts. Hey. So this, that, that's a scoffer ID. You know? Lusting after these Hamites. An Israelite lusting after these Hamites. Wanna be Hamite. You wanna defend, you wanna defend your oppressors. Right? So you're gonna be destroyed. Most are gonna destroy you. And these Hamites, they're going into slavery. Kind of prophecy. These Hamites going into slavery. Right? You understand? Going into slavery. Right? This is, uh, Jude. This is Jude, uh, Jude chapter 1 verse 18. He said, How that they told you they should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. Yeah, walk after their own ungodly lusts. You know, thinking that, thinking that uh, you're pushing a doctor with, um, with, um, melanin or wool. Right? Most likely can destroy you and the, the retarded doctrine. Right? It's really most likely to destroy you and the retarded doctrine. Right? That y'all have no fear for y'all by Shem Right? That you learn the most high name to scarf at the most high and to disrespect the most high name. Right? Not, not, not even aware what you're doing. You understand? Not even taking into consideration this could be the name of the Heavenly Father disrespecting it. Right? Because you want to represent, you want to represent dogs. Africans are dogs. That's what the scriptures say. That's what the Lord said. They are dogs. Right? You want to defend. You want to defend dogs. You understand? Right? That's what you want to, that's what you want to defend. Right? Uh, let me get this in Acts. Right? I think it's Acts chapter 5. This is, a. Uh, This is Acts chapter 5, verse 28. He said, And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this gospel, so like if, for, for if this counsel of this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the most side, he cannot overthrow it. I see he come to, he come to, come to crush this doctrine. Right? So he said, But if it be of the most side, he cannot overthrow it. Let's apply he formed even to fight against the Mosai. Right? And you fighting against the Mosai. Right? Scripture says strive not with a mighty man. And you striving, you striving, you striving, you striving, and you striving against your how about Hashem, your shy omnipotent power, your creator. You is a proud nigger, and the Mosai gonna make you a prime example. The Mosai gonna give you give you a slow and painful death. Right? Slow and painful. Right? This is really most I can do to you. Right? Uh, this is, uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 8 verse 1. He says, strive not with a mighty man, lest thou fall into his hand. So you strive, you striving against a mighty man and you, and you fall, and you gonna fall into his hand. And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because no man can deliver you. Right? No man can deliver you. Right? And this is, that is a proud, proud nigger. And niggas are low life. Right? One of, one, you want to be an African, you a low life. African, them, and them Africans are our servants. They are our servants. Right? Same, same, same Hamas who destroy you, who put you in slavery and sell you. Hey, GMS, um, salvation of the elect. Shalom, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Raka, Kodash. Right? Let me see how you find it. Right? You understand? Let's go find this precept. Yeah. Right? I'm just proud. You know, you niggas proud. Right? Niggas proud. 
And let's see what we'll find this precept. All right, that's pro. Um, okay, this is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. All right, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It's a uh, let me let me start from verse 34. We know him that had said, Vengeance belongeth unto me, I will recompense, said the Lord, and again the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Right? And this dumb nigga, I have no fear for you, but Hashem, you know, now you, now you is right out, you scoffing against the name of your Hashem, you have a problem with your Hashem, you have you're going to bring, you're going to bring evil on y'all. You can put y'all in distress. You're going to destroy y'all. Right? You're going to destroy y'all. All who have a problem with the name of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, right? If you don't want to believe, if you don't want to believe, that's that's the name of the that that's the name of the heavenly Father, and in, and the name of His Son. If you don't believe that, that that's that's on you. That's on you, right? That is on you. The Most High said, the "Elect <coughs> shall worship His His holy name." You understand? That's a new fiddle want to believe it. And now you speaking evil against the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai will be destroyed. Right? So this um Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31, he says, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Right? It's a fearful thing because nobody not gonna nobody not gonna nobody not gonna deliver you. Nobody can deliver you, a motherfucker. Right? Out of the hands of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? Um, this Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17 let me start from verse 16 he says circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart and be more and be no more stiff naked for the Lord your power is a power of, of God and the Lord of Lords a great God, a great power a mighty and terrible he said which regarded not person nor take it reward right so hey you know you niggas gonna be destroyed. You understand? Niggas gonna be destroyed. You wanna you wanna speak all kind of man of evil against your Hashem You know, let me run piece a little piece more of this clip. Alright. I try to make a make a fool out him. Why can't he make a fool out him? But he, when he said Gentile, um they was Hellenized, so they become Gentile. Bantan, that is no way in the book there. Then you say that the brother, the brother say, um, you are Basham, you are shy, is a name in the Bible. You know that there's no way in the book, no place at all. Then you say also, in the height of the boy saying, you know, the boy say when you translate it in Hebrew. So you see this brother got a history in misleading the people because that name does not exist, no way in the Bible. You understand? This is a King Jail bullshit version and it doesn't exist. Now the brother telling people, Hey, if you're a stupid, stupid, stupid black brother, trust me, my brother, he's a stupid fool. Now, he said, now I can't tell you. Now I can't tell you. The brother said, the Jews, um, the, the, the Hebrew Israelite turned Gentile because it was Hellenized. My brother, the, 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 again, this is the definition I can't tell the dictionary with this boy like Rontano. Non-Jews are Gentile. Anybody who's not Jew are Gentile. That's it, you know? That's it. I even tell you for asking, but if Jews, if, if Gentile is a condition, if Gentile or if Gentile is a people, uh, I don't know if you did ask him that because I know he didn't respond and I didn't listen to all in, in um, the whole live video. Them, I listen to them peace, peace, because it's very tough for go to reveal information, guys, you rubbish. I even tell you for asking this boy, if he know the elect, when the election start, and um, and if he's talked with the elect, and if in his a part of the elect, and when the election starts and when he's going to finish, man, can you ask him question, you know, you that put some bullshit to the number of Ask this man, I tell you, he feels like he's keep getting you all over the place. He feels can't do that to me. But then listen again, I want you to pay attention, you know, if I still getting cool, but that's why it goes still. Ask if he feels when the election starts. 
if he knew the elect, all right, and if he is elected um, to the bullshit we say, if he's a part of the elect, right, if he already been elected, when it start, when it can end, and if she already been elected to this shit, mouth doctrine, um, sewage head, bullshit, Hebrew, Israelite, crap, you must ask him that this specific question, don't go wrong in circle, make it very brief and simple, type it clear that you could read and understand what you read, you understand? Make sure you get the information from him. Ask him about Mr. Um, bullshit. Uh, uh, Joseph. But then you do this work, you know. You the person to you know, Because you're giving him very regular room, you know. I give you I give you ideas of a cover. So this is why I think you know. And you just jump around like you're a kangaroo too. You understand? You gotta ask this man specific question and don't let this boy go around in circle and waste your energy and your time. Because this boy is a clown, this boy ain't got nothing in there, this boy ain't got yeah, shit. You understand? So you need to be able to 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 out to triangulate yourself and kill off this boy argument them. Fast, fast and simple, simple. You see me? If he be talking to me, he was a new was a new to him already, you know. But he not chat to me. Because me mute that because of the facts what I got on the table. You see me, I say? So you need to try that. Vice Lord old man, so we better cut this and try and try build a next one. You see it? But give thanks. When, when we get some more time, I send on another vice Lord. You could respond back and straight love to the eye. Free up your self. Need more because yeah. you need more self. Yeah. Take your doctor, your body man, God, your body shame, your body your shy. Get to the body man, salami, homosexual, bisexual, God, and see if you will God. Me say that. King and God, the earth, baddest, realest man ever born. Me say that. Get the Batman, Salamite, Sopoki, homosexual, bisexual, Yehovah Bashem, Yehovah Shai. Me say that. Me bad. Yeah, so, hey, our oh, people are destroyed. You understand? Destroy. You have no fear. You have no fear for Yehovah Bashem, Yehovah Shai. You understand? So, God, even once I said, pray not for these pe this people who thought finish. This is um, it's Isaiah chapter one, verse um. Let me start from the top. This is Isaiah chapter one, verse one. He said, "A vision of Isaiah, the son of Am Amos, which saw which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem." In the days of Uziah, Jot, um, Jotan, Azar, and Ezekiel, Ezekiel, king of Judah. So, John verse 3, he said, The ox know it is owner, and the ass is master crib. What Israel do not know, my people do not consider. So, the most I say, two dumb animals know the master. But Israel do not know, my people do not consider. To tell you, you don't consider, you don't know Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shem. Right? I don't know Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. This nigga have no fear for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. He have no fear. Right? Uh, verse 4. He said, A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoer, children that are corruptors. He said, They have forsaken the Lord Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger. They are gone back. They are gone away backward. A sinful nation. You understand this 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 dumb nigga, he 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 might play he, he infest with demons. You understand? Even even if you don't believe that Yahweh is the name of the heavenly father who the world not take our God, and Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of the Son who the world not take our Jesus, even if you don't believe that, you must have some kind of fear and some kind of circumspect with the creator. This man have none. Right? He have none. You understand? He have none. Was uh verse five. He said, "Why should he be stricken it anymore? He will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart fainted. So the whole head is sick. This man whole head is sick. You understand? It's sick. So the most I gotta destroy that. The most I gotta destroy that. Right? He said verse six. He said, "From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it." But wounds, so he have no soundness in him. Even if you don't believe that the true, that there's the true Hebrew name of the Father and the Son, even even if you don't believe that, you must have, 
you must have some kind of moral within yourself and say, hey, even if I don't believe in the name, this man speaking about God, right? The creator. Have some have some have some sort of respect. You know? But what? These niggas don't don't these niggas don't consider that's why we call them niggas because they're low. They're low. You understand? They're low. They don't consider. Right? They don't consider. You understand? They don't consider. Right, he said, for the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. He said, but womb and bruises, purify and sore, they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither modified with ointment. You understand? So, hey, there is no soundness. Right, see the brother post up on the brother uh, GMS salvation of the leg. Luke chapter 12, verse 5. Let me get that. Right? And don't fear y'all, but I shall be Right. This is Luke. This is Luke chapter twelve, verse five. He said, "But he said, but I will for for warn you, whom he shall fear, fear him, which is Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, which after the which after he had killed, it, had power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. You understand." So hey, they don't, they don't fear, they don't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Hey, Israel, Israelite folk and as I shall have a Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakodash. You understand? He don't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? So the most high, the most high gonna destroy that nigga. Right? Most high gonna destroy it. Right? This is uh this is Romans. This is Romans chapter eight, verse six. For to be kindly minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You understand? This man, this man have no fear. This man have no regards. You know? Because he hurt. He hurt because Africans are dogs. Most I say that. Exodus 11 and 7, he call them dogs. You understand? But if you want to, if you want to, if you want to be a Hamite, you go ahead and be a Hamite. You're going to be destroyed. Right, because I tell you that you are Israelite and that you are not African, these Hamites, these Africans is our enemy, they are dogs. You get you get angry like a little bitch and you start disrespecting the creator. So you try you try you trying to get back get back. That's all you trying to try to get back to me. You think you're gonna offend me when you say that? No, I know you I know you destroy. You destroy either the most I take you in the famine, either the most I take you in the race war, right? And you will he can allow you to get the chip and then he can destroy you. You understand? And however, however, however it's pleased the most I to destroy you. You understand? But it's not gonna be nice. It's not gonna be nice. You understand? It's not gonna be nice. Right? They say, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritual mind is life and peace. Verse 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Mosai, there's a carnal man. He's an enemy against the Mosai. You understand? There's a carnal man. Right? Any man in right mind might not believe the name. He might not believe there's the true Hebrew name, but the man know you're speaking about the Heavenly Father. He can got some kind of discipline within himself. You understand? Right? He said, but he said, but the carnal, but the carnal mind is enmity against the Mosai, for it is not subjected to the law of the Mosai, neither indeed can be. You understand? So the Mosai, the Mosai can destroy the beast. That's a beast. You understand? The Mosai can destroy the beast. See, but um, it's like for kind of Zara, Psalms one ten for a street. All right? It's um, let me get that. Right, yeah. So there's a kind of man, and the Mosai can destroy that beast. Right, he's an enemy to the Mosai. Right, that is an enemy. Right, Mosai say he's the god of the Hebrews, so he have a Hebrew name. His son is his, his son is from the tribe of Judah. Right, which 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 which, which, which Judah is like, which Judah is Israelite. So his son have a Hebrew name too. So we tell you the Hebrew name of 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 the of 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 God who the what they call God, 
right? There's Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world is going to declare Jesus. If you don't want to believe it, oh, that is up to you. But that's the true Hebrew name, right? So you want to Spanish, you want you want to you want to you want to speak that kind of man like evil against the Most High. And the Most High might let you suffer them same thing that you speak about. Them same thing that you speak about the Most High gonna let you suffer suffer for them same thing before you, before you take before you take back the spirit, right? This is Psalms one ten, verse three. He said the people. He said, "Thy people shall be willing in the day of, of thy power, in the beauty of holiness, from the womb of the morning." He said, "Thou hast." He said, "Thou hast the Jew of thy youth." Yeah, the time, the time when the most high gives elect power, you know, our people, our people gonna be willing, right? They gonna want to hear about Yahweh about Hashem Yahweh Shai. They gonna want to know what they gotta do. But hey, the time gonna be too late for niggas like that. Niggas like that, the time gonna be too late. You understand me, Gawa? You blaspheme in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You have no fear for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? This is um, Leviticus chapter 24. Leviticus chapter 24, verse 16. It says, And he that blasphemed the name of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, he shall surely be put to death. And all the congregation shall certainly stone him, as well as the stranger, as he that is born in the land, when he blasphemed the name of the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, shall be put to death. You are the most high gonna bring the most high, the most high gonna lay judgment on you dumb niggas. You see when you see when the most high when the most high when the most high collapse this economy, because this economy Crumbling so fast, so fast is economy crumbling. These these nations, the currency losing value. You understand? And this economy crumbling so fast. It's really most I. It's really most I bring hell in this place. The most I. The most I can lay out the judgment on you, dumb niggas. Right? You wanna blaspheme the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You wanna speak all kind of evil, right? All kind of evil you wanna speak. Yeah, the most, the most high, the most high, the same, the same things you say about the most high, the most high let you be, let, let you be punished with them, with say, them same words you use. Them same words you use, the most high gonna punish you with that. Right? Because this is the scriptures, this is what the scriptures say. We with how a man sin by the same shall he be punished. Let me get that. Right? And the most high sending them go, them go the troops. When them, when them, when them martial art troops hit the street in Guyana, because they come in there, foreign troops gonna be there. When they hit the streets, them pedophile, them pedophile soldier, they gonna deal with you. Them homosexual soldier, gonna, they gonna deal with you. Right? This is, uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11, verse 16, that they might know that wherewith how a man sin it, by the same also shall he be punished. By the same also shall he be punished. Right? You understand? By the same also shall he be punished. Right? This is Jeremiah. Right? This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 21 declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in the in Judah saying hear now this O foolish people and without understanding which have eyes and see not which have ears and hear not so hey tutorial people are foolish right you want to scoff against the creator you scoffing against something you have no understanding of right you saying I speak in garbage? Okay, garbage to you because you have no understanding. Yeah, because you're proud of you, that you're a demon, right? And the most I, the most I put a spirit on you so he can destroy you, right? That's why you're speaking all these things. And you're going to be destroyed, right? Right? He said, what 22, fear he not me. So the most I saying, fear he not me, right? Said the Lord Yahweh, will he not tremble at my presence? 
Yo, you gonna tremble. You gonna fucking tremble. Right? You gonna tremble. You understand? When the most I bring them, bring hell in this place, you gonna tremble. Right? He said, which have placed the sun for a bomb of the sea by a perpetual degree that, that it cannot pass it. And though they, and though the wave they have tossed themselves, yet can they not prevail? Though they row, yet can they not pass over it? These people had a revolting and rebellious spirit. They are revolted and gone. They are revolted and gone. You understand? This is who they is. They are revolted and gone. Right? Full reprobate silver. Right? This is, uh, poor Samuel. Right? This is 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 3. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord Yahweh is a power of knowledge, and by him action are weighted, and by the most high action are weighted. And this nigga talking proud. Right? He proud. You understand? Talking proud. You understand? The most high gonna weigh your action. Most I can judge you righteously. Righteously, the most I gonna judge you. Right? Because you striving against the almighty power, you 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 totally out of your mind. You understand? You out of your mind. You understand? This is uh Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 7. He said, Pride is hateful before the most I am man, and by both do one commit iniquity. Right? Let me jump to verse 9. He said, Why is art and ashes proud? Yeah, use art and ashes. And you proud. You speaking against your creator. And you have no fear. You proud. Right? Why is art and ashes proud? There is not there is there is not a more wicked thing than, than a covetous man. For such a one set his own soul to sail, because while he liveth, he casts away his power will. Right? Which I'm not for us uh, 12. He said the beginning of pride is when one departs from the Mosai and his heart is torn away from his maker. Yeah, you prideful. And your heart, your mind torn away from your maker because you want to worship these Hamites. You want to worship your oppressor. He was the same spirit in the wilderness who was rebelling against Moses to go back, to go back into, uh, go back into Egypt. This is the same wicked spirit. You understand? Same wicked demonic spirits. Right? Um, Ecclesiastical chapter 10 verse 12. He said, The beginning of pride is when one departs from the Mosai and his heart is turned away from his maker. For pride is the beginning of sin. And he that had it shall pour out abomination. And there, he said, And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamity and overthrew them utterly. So the Mosai go, Hey, most I can bring strange calamity on you and overthrow you utterly. Right? Utterly. The most I can overthrow you. Yeah, so don't talk no more exceedingly proudly. The most I the power of knowledge. Right? The most I the power of knowledge. Right? Uh, see, Brother Post, Israel 4, Kind of Zion, uh, Jeremiah 5, of 4. This Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 4, he said, Therefore I say, Truly, these are poor. Yeah, that is a poor man. That is a poor man. That man have no wisdom and knowledge understanding. He have none. He's a poor man. Right? He said, they are foolish for they, for, for they know not the way of the Lord Yahweh, nor the judgment of their power. So they, he don't know. Because we're full of pride. Prideful. You understand? See, poor poor in the wisdom and knowledge and understanding the Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. He don't know. That is why the Mosai is going to destroy him because the Mosai tell him. The Mosai tell him and he refused to take heed. And he being proud, he, he feel his heart because the Hamites are dogs, the Africans are dogs, he feel his heart. So you want to, he, he can set things to offend you because he's a carnal man, but you can't offend me. Nothing you say, you can offend me. I just know you're going to be destroyed. And with a sword destruction. You understand? So, so nothing you say offend me. This is Jeremiah. 
chapter, um, this is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 3, says, For thus said the Lord, concerning the sons and concerning the daughter that are born in this place, and concerning the mother that bear them, and concerning the father that begot them in this, in this land, they shall die of grievous death. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dogs upon the face of the earth, and shall and shall and shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcass shall be meat for, for the fowl of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. And this is not to you, are you dumb niggers? You know? Who don't wanna who don't wanna turn back to your Bashem Yahweh? Who you wanna be heathens? Who don't wanna turn back to your heritage? Right? He said, For thus said the Lord, enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament nor bemoan them. For I have taken away my peace from this people, said the Lord, even the loving kindness and mercy. So the most I take me peace and the loving and the kind take me peace and his loving kindness, even mercy from niggas like you. Most I can bring the hammer down on you niggas. You understand? Most I gonna bring the hammer down on you niggas. Right? Uh, let me get this one in, in Machu. Right? Proud. Super proud. You understand? Super proud. Right? This is uh, Luke. Luke chapter 12, verse 32. Uh, he said, And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him. Neither neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Yeah, because he's seeking to crush the Bible. Right? He's speaking against the Holy Spirit, which is the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You is a, you are a fool. You are a fool. Right? Verse 36. Right? He said, But I say unto you that every idle word that man that that men shall speak they shall give a account thereof in the day of judgment so ever add the idle word they will not give a account for it in the day of judgment right he said verse um, 27 he said for by word for thy by for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned you understand so this is exactly after this dumb nigga Right, you're gonna be destroyed. Right? You're gonna be destroyed with sore, sore, sore destruction. Right? Sore, sore destruction. Right? This is Second Corinthians chapter five, verse eleven. Knowing the terror, knowing the terror of the Mosai, so like here, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord Yahweh, we persuade men. Knowing the terror. Of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall be persuade men. You understand? But the most of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall even destroy all you scoffers. All of you who come against the most high word, who come to fight against the most high word, the most high gonna destroy you scoffers. You know, if you know, if you know, yeah, if you, you Israelite out there, repent. You got Jacob trouble. Time when Jacob trouble come in, right? Jacob trouble, right? They come in. And all, all you niggas who fight against you, how about Shem Yahweh? You're going to get you all in Jacob trouble. You're going to get you all. Right? This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse um, <coughs> uh, verse 6. No, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse um, Verse four, he said, and these, and he said, and these are the word that the Lord speak concerning Israel and concerning Judah. But thus said the Lord Yahweh, we have here a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. And this is the time that we coming into, right? He said, ask ye now and see whether a man do a travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as woman in travail and all face are turned into paleness? So, hey, in the day, the day you rather you have Hashem, you have you're going to be like a woman. Fear. Fear. You don't fear you have Hashem, you have 
in disrespecting the name of the Heavenly Father because of these Hamites who sell you into slavery, your enemies, right? Verse 7, at last, it's a, at last for that day is great, so that, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, for he shall be saved out of it. The elect gonna be saved. You dumb niggas gonna be destroyed. Right? Gonna save out of it. So are you proud? You're gonna be destroyed. Right? Musa Yao Bashem Yao Shai gonna destroy all you scaffolds. You understand? Me close out for the one. Right? Are you proud? You proud niggas? And you scar first gonna be destroyed. This is Malachi. All right? This is Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. He said, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the, he said, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branches. You understand? So the day come in, which is Jacob trouble, right? They are going to be destroyed. Right? Are you proud? Are you proud Israelite? You so you you you, you so called white people and are you are the heathen nation? They are going to be destroyed. Right? And the ones the ones of you of the heathen nation that survive, you pay for slavery. You understand? You pay for slavery. Right, so the most I can destroy the proud. Right, hey, so shall I want to the Akims and the coming board? You know, you know, to water for the um, the support, to water for the precept. You know, always let me say the fire, and I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, and Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule with our great stone, and a blessed salutation to the Akims in the four and the order to push in the gospel and sincerity. Truth, shall I want.